Experts agree that the effective dissemination of a lethal biological agent could threaten the lives of hundreds of thousands of people, could cost the government millions or billions of dollars in recovery costs, could have a direct impact on our way of life and even jeopardize the public's trust in our government. International Biological Threat Reduction is a group at Sandia. We work to reduce the threat of bioterrorism and biological weapons proliferation. The group primarily works on biosafety and biosecurity, mostly to ensure that labs are, are working uh, responsibly with dangerous pathogens, but we also lend expertise in the area of building public health capacity and understanding the differences between building laboratory capacity and altering the proliferation risk. We actually have built a mock BSL-2 training lab. Um, it's actually BSL-2 enhanced training lab. It allows us to teach all the way from basic BSL-2 all the way to BSL-3 work in the lab. Currently I'm doing quarterly training for a variety of individuals to include law enforcement and scientists who actually work with biological materials. Well, I think that's actually one of the unique things about our program is that we work for a large range of federal agencies across the U.S. government and then also support international organizations. So I think in the time that I've worked with the team, we've worked with almost every major federal agency. Our strong point is certainly the, the biosecurity aspect of it. It's more than that, I think we have such a, a wide view of the problem. We look at a problem from you know, the beginning to the end and, and all of the various aspects of it.